show you what I've been up to, what I've been acquiring for the shop, and so on. Uh, as always, God bless all here. Uh, first of all, if any of you guys don't subscribe to Scale Auto, if you can, find you a copy of this latest edition of Scale Auto. Everybody's always asking about uh, uh, plumbing and wiring engines and doing plumbing and stuff on their chassis. Uh, our good friend Ken Hamilton has a fantastic article in that issue that does drawings and outlines all the basics for all the different plumbings, wirings, and so on like that for models. So if you don't have that issue, you younger guys is trying to learn, that's the one you need to pick up if you can find it. If you can't, you can order it from their website. I also finally broke down and got Mr. Don Yost videos uh, These things are fantastic guys Don is, is a great guy. He does a great job His ideas his tricks tips techniques in these videos are really great If you don't have them sell a pint of blood, whatever you need to do get you a copy of them They're really informative will help you a lot with your modeling with your painting your detailing everything every aspect of modeling So that said I'm going to change the camera angle here and show you what I've built in preparation for the uh, box stock build. I did a little box stock build just to get ready for it. Just see if I could build something box stock without modifying anything. So let me I'm move back. this camera. This is the Tom Taylor's Vet Again kit, in case any of you don't recognize it. Uh, it's an older kit. I think the stamping on the part of it said 77. I don't know if it's really that old or not, but because this this kit's been a rework from something else. There was a hood scoop, some, some extra door panels, and an extra rear end in the kit, so it's been modified from another kit. But I decided to do this as a warm up for the box stock build. And like I say, I just got Mr. Yost's videos and went over them. And gentlemen, I think I've got the shiniest, prettiest paint job on this car that I've done since I got. Started getting sick eight or nine years ago. So, for that further ado, there you go. This is just, I took this body, I sanded it starting with 600 grit up to 2000 grit all over. Attached the front and rear fascias and everything before I painted it. That is just bare plastic with rust oleum red. Uh, it's called. Uh, just gloss cherry red. I went on with, I went put it on with uh, quick light mist coats for about four or five coats of light mist. Then slowed my hand down and put on a medium, kind of fairly wet coat. I let that tack up for about five minutes. In between coats, I do the hood separately from the body. So I'd take a minute or two to do the hood and come back to the body. So it had a minute or two tack up between coats. And I did that. And then when I got that medium wet coat on there, I gave it about five minutes to tack up and went over all of it real good with a medium wet kiss coat. Now that's not been polished. It's not been cleared. Nothing. Just the way it is. It's just the way the paint came out. But look at the shine on that thing. It might get even better if I polished it. I ain't afraid to touch it. I even got out my little cotton gloves to handle it with. I was afraid of it. <laughs> the only thing it's not stock in this one, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, right here, my masking on the seats and door panels didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I put in some little silver 
craft uh, cord uh, piping. I brought the red inside with the gear shift and the uh, steering wheel. The engine's just a box stock uh, Corvette fuel engine. I won't even bother opening the hood because it didn't do anything to it. You know what a fuel engine looks like. But that's how it came out. Just like that. I'm just tickled to death with it. Like I say, I think that's about the prettiest paint job I've laid down since I started getting sick about eight or nine years ago. So maybe I'll get my voodoo back or whatever you want to call it here. But that's what I've been up to for the last little bit. Hope y'all like it, comment, subscribe to me. If you like what you see, I'll be doing more. I thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the Vox Talk build opening. Have a good day.